the triple goddess has been adopted by many neo-pagans as one of their primary deities. In common neo-pagan usage the three female figures are frequently described as the maiden, the mother, and the crone, each of which symbolizes both a separate stage in the female life cycle and a phase of the moon, and often rules one of the realms of earth, underworld, and the heavens. These may or may not be perceived as aspects of a greater single divinity. The goddess of Wicca's duotheistic theology is sometimes portrayed as the triple goddess, her masculine consort being the horned god. The term triple goddess can be used outside of neopaganism to instead refer to historical goddess triads and single goddesses of three forms or aspects. The Triple Goddess was the subject of much of the writing of the prominent early and middle 20th century poet, novelist and mythographer Robert Graves, in his books The White Goddess and the Greek Myths as well as in his poetry and novels. Modern neo-pagan conceptions of the Triple Goddess have been heavily influenced by Robert Graves who regarded the Triple Goddess as the continuing muse of all true poetry and who speculatively reconstructed her ancient worship, drawing on the scholarship of his time, in particular Jane Ellen Harrison and other Cambridge ritualists. The influential Hungarian scholar of Greek mythology Karl Kerenyi likewise perceived an underlying Triple Moon Goddess in Greek mythology. More recently the prominent archaeologist Maria Gimbutas has argued for the ancient worship of a triple goddess in Europe, attracting much controversy, and her ideas also influence modern neo-paganism. Many neo-pagan belief systems follow Graves in his use of the figure of the triple goddess, and it continues to be an influence on feminism, literature, Jungian psychology and literary criticism. <laughs>